Hello and welcome to our latest video series for ABI Labs. We would just like to begin by thanking everyone for watching all our videos so far. If you have any questions, if you'd like to know more, please feel free to contact us via LinkedIn or our website. Also, feel free to drop us a message in the comment section below. We will try to answer your questions as soon as we can. So moving on, um, in today's episode, we will be, we'll be looking at the Bone Master and how we can use the Pulse Alpha feature to test um, in devices in circuit on our PCB uh, to fault find and diagnose them. So Oliver, what is the Pulse Output? Okay, so the Pulse Output is still using the uh, 3D VI tester instrument we've been using before. And uh, this time we'll be using the display as VT instead of VI, so that's voltage against time. And we'll be uh, testing the gate of a, uh, tra of a transistor. I see. Uh, can we see a demonstration? Absolutely. That? So the, the problem you might face with transistors is that the, the uh, gate voltage might not change, but the actual uh, time that it triggers might get a bit slower with time. So, I'll so we could use this test to identify fault. Yeah, so you can compare a, a brand new one against a pretty old one for a, a bit of predictive maintenance. So 3D VI, although in this case we set the mode to VT, so it's a VT test. And all we click is start and it'll automatically show you that sine wave and we'll, we'll interrupt that using our pulse output. There you go, just over. There we go, and we can stop that. If I was using the foot switch, I could stop that under the desk. And there's our signal. We can show that the sine wave has been interrupted by that pulse output. Right, so am I right in saying uh, what we see here on the screen is the trigger, the pulse trigger? That's exactly right. So in the settings, we've uh, uh, set it so the voltage is at a particular level uh, with a duration and a period. So it happens at that frequency right there. So this can help us find the turn on voltage. We can, I guess, compare to the specification as well. And again, we could store and compare. Exactly. So like usual, you can store this and compare it against another, another uh, transistor. Right here, you can see if the turn on voltage, it matches the data sheet. And uh, it's just useful to uh, check that that uh, gate activated device is functioning correctly. I see. Great, thank you Oliver. Um, keep a look out for our next episode, which will be doing basically a summary and a question and answer session. Um, you know, if you've got any questions, if you'd like to know more, please comment in the comment section below and we'll try to answer those questions uh, in the next episode.